What's going on guys snake guys here playing some more dark souls 2 and in this video we're going to do a weapon showcase and the weapon we're going to be showcasing today is the black knight halberd uh, it's made its return from dark souls and it's actually still very very useful very practical to use uh, the location where you can get this is actually at the shaded ruins on the shaded ruins bonfire and what you're going to want to do is just walk a little bit further out look left and you can see a path that you can jump onto uh, make sure you run and jump and then when you do that immediately turn around and there's another opening that you can jump to uh, when you jump to that you're going to see a iron lock box open up that iron lock box and there you go you're going to get yourself a black knight halberd and um, all in all it's very useful i actually used this same weapon to beat um, the scorpion s nashka and it just put her to shame uh, it was no comparison. This is actually really amazing, but uh, we're actually going to get into the stats a little bit more right now. Okay, so this weapon's actually very unique. It has a lot of nice properties on it that I really, really enjoy. We're going to get into that right now. Um, as you can see right there, the base attack is actually at 213 with a base fire damage on that as well coming in at 90. It requires 17 strength to wield and 26 dexterity as well, but it has a C scaling in strength, a B scaling in dexterity, and a C scaling in fire, which is a combined of um, intelligence, and intelligence and faith as well. Um, all around it's not too bad and the scaling on it is actually really really good especially for people who are running a uh, strength and dex build and manage to invest a couple of points in intelligence and faith as well because uh, you're going to get a nice little uh, uh, boost on that as far as the fire damage goes. What makes this weapon unique and what I really like about it is that you can actually infuse it with fire and what's that? what that's going to do is actually decrease the base damage by a little bit but it's also going to increase the fire damage a little bit more um i think since last time i looked at it it's something like 20 points off of maximum base damage uh versus 40 points on top of maximum uh fire damage so all around it's not too bad and with the stats that i have right now um i'm doing some pretty decent damage 128 and uh, 20 as far as the um scaling things go so it's actually not too bad the moveset on it as well is kind of unique um it has the standard halberd um moveset which isn't too bad especially for those who are used to that uh, you can pick up this weapon and actually just do some work with it and the fact that it's a little bit better than the halberd in my opinion um, makes it pretty damn lethal if you want to go ahead and pick it up the um those were the standard um combo flurry and strong attack the shield bash is the same as soon as i can do it um, right there was the shield attack the jump attack is the same as well and the uh, running attack is actually a spinning um he kind of just flurries that around and spins it and like I said, I think I showed the strong attack as well. And it's the same deal. Same thing as the Halberd, which I've already done one on. And uh, we're going to go ahead and see if there are any uh, kobolds around here that we can fight. Um, the thing with these weapons are is you have to make sure you hit it on the blade. If uh, you don't, then you're not going to be doing the maximum damage that you could be doing. As you can see, I hit him for 218. And then this guy I hit for 497. So that's something that you want to pay attention to because you could easily mistake this weapon for not being that good but the thing is is you're not hitting it with the blade and um and that makes a big difference but as you can see it's pretty all around a pretty nice weapon i definitely re recommend picking it up just for the simple fact that it's the um it's the old black knight halberd from the original dark souls um i i really enjoyed that they put it back in here and i hope you guys did too but uh that's gonna wrap it up for this showcase i hope you enjoyed leave a like if you did subscribe if you haven't already and uh until next time take care